Hello guys, this is me, Kokosing Valley Channel speaking. Um, I got something from a friend of mine and has a huge collection of trains up at his house. And he's starting to sell off his collection here where I live in my area, my town. But he lives in another town next door. Uh, I call it next door because he's in Mount Vernon, Ohio. I'm in Fergtown, Ohio. Well, today is a little review on this locomotive here. The HO Rail Diesel Car, or we like to call it the RDC3 locomotive. Uh, it's a baggage and pasture version, and um, it's an Atherin. It's a very old one, and I paid 25 bucks for it, which is not bad. I mean, these things are going for maybe 40 to $50, or maybe 25 to $30 a piece. But this one had no name, no number. Nothing on the locomotive itself. It does kind of run a little bit, but it's a rubber band drive, so it's a very old engine. So it likes to move. So I have a 2x4 I made my two chest track on. And it's just a back and forth track with a little switch, so I could test it on the uh, switch. But every week I'll be showing um, a different locomotive kind of on each thing. Oh, and one other thing too. On kind of my work area, there's just, I have too much clutter and train stuff. I got stuff in boxes and just too much there. Um, here's another MRDC, uh, it, or RDC locomotive. This is a dummy and it's all made of metal. And it will go with this other unit here, which has no name, no number still. And the project is to get another coupler for the locomotive. And get this one leveled out as you should have. So I can run the two in tandem. I mean, one's made of metal, one's made of plastic. But I don't care what it is. At least it runs. And it's a, it's a restoring project. Um, here's another little locomotive I'm working on as a... This is a, um, there was a baddie and a shell from an auction stuff I found. And I put it all in this older Santa Fe shell. I don't really do Santa Fe, I mostly do B&O trains. Um, I had a friend of mine's collection years ago and I bought some of the stuff. This actually came from another, uh, I found the switcher in an antique store, got that. And, um, it runs okay, and then this is just a shell off another engine I put on there from an auction, so it looks a lot better. I like it as Bino. Um, up here's an 040 Manitoula die cast engine. It's all die cast, even the tender and the trucks are die cast. And there's a fiber thing that goes right between there. And this is just clutter on my shelf. I just I have stuff I'm working on as projects and. Uh, if you can spot something that looks different out of the bunch, don't ask me that question, or leave, don't leave a bad comment on here. Uh, I don't like bad comments, so if you're gonna do something, go do it on somebody else's channel. Uh, there is a, an Atlantic engine somewhere in the back here, and I'll fix that engine up. Uh, it's an HO scale bridge, it has a broken light, and I have stuff in this... It's made by Globe. It's a it's a cabinet, so I can hold stuff like parts and pieces of the trains and then stuff like this. So I think I paid a thousand dollars for this uh, cabinet here. But Steam Rhine Stream Lower, if you're hearing me say this, uh, in Pops Production One Two Four, uh, this is just something to show you what I've been doing over time. I've got a couple N scale diesel engines, mostly. I got five Kados and then uh, probably four Bachmans and a parts engine. And then I got my tools. There's my little railway car. I got a bus. That one doesn't run very good. It runs kind of okay. So I put them in there. And um, paint brushes, dental picks, all that. Let's do a magnet. My can of electrical spray. Keep the nozzle in there sometimes. And there's just, just parts in here. And we just seen that one. Um, there's just random stuff I put in here just to keep sure. Oops. Gives me a heart attack when that happens. <laughs> or give me a scare. Uh, just parts in the desk and just, you know, stuff I got from other locomotives. And there's wheels are brand new and there's 
stuff to other engines, which will be worked on their couplers um, in here, probably like horn hooks and just random stuff. You know, just stuff like that. So anywhere, guys, if you want to leave me a comment. Oh, uh, I have a project locomotive. If anybody is interested in leaving a comment, I need some help on a locomotive, and in which I don't know what kind of parts to use on it. It is a Varney 464 Casey Jones engine. Um, the motor in it was no good. I ran it before. And it's one of the other 4.6.4s. I got three or four Casey Joan engines in River Aussie. But I'd like to know what type of can motor to put in this engine. And what type of wheel drive. And I'm thinking like a Yardbird can motor. But I don't know how big that would be to fit in this. Because it's a very small body. And a very tight fit. Um, so basically I'm looking for something just a little bit narrow to fit inside the, the shell of the locomotive and something what I can do here. If anybody's got a comment or question on that, please send me something to figure out how to fix this engine and get it running again. Um, guys have a nice night. We'll see you later. And this is the Kokosing Valley signing out.